Clerks is quite possibly the most relatable film out there. Yes, I know that's a bold statement, but newer and older generations can relate to this film. I relate to this film, and that is why today I will review Clerks, the first of the many View Askew films. The story of Clerks is a day in our lives. It's about a clerk named Dante called in to work on his day off. Right off the bat, I'm sure this is something everyone who has a job can relate to. All Dante has to do is get through the day, which is a real struggle if you're going somewhere you don't want to be at. The film takes place in a convenience store for a majority of the movie, where Dante talks with his friend Randall, customers, and former classmates. Our main character Dante is interesting, and you feel sympathy for him. He doesn't like his job, but he also can't get up and leave. He's stuck in a no-win situation. He's somewhat a pushover and a by-the-book guy. We are employees of the Quick Stop, Convenience, and RST Video, respectively. As such, we have certain obligations, though they may seem cruel and unusual, does mean manning the store until closing. Which is why his counterpart Randall is a guy who breaks all the rules, comes to work late, doesn't care about the customers, and he will give them lip if they're bugging him. And he's an all-around confident guy that's satisfied with his current status. He's the guy we wish we could all be. He does what he wants. You mean you haven't heard anybody say anything about either one of these? Nope. Well, what about these two? Oh, well, they suck. These are the same two movies? You weren't paying any attention. No, I wasn't. I don't think your manager would appreciate it. I don't it appreciate your ruse, ma'am. I beg your pardon? Your ruse, your cunning attempt to trick me. I was only pointing out that you weren't paying any attention to what I was saying. Uh, I hope it feels good. Then there's the faces of the VSQ universe, Jay and Silent Bob. Jay being a horny, perverted, foul-mouthed dope dealer, and Silent Bob being the man of few words that spreads his wisdom only when needed. These two are the opposites of Dante and Randall, two individuals living their lives on the street. Feel good today, Sal Bob. We're gonna make some money. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to that party. We're gonna get some pussy. Then I'm gonna fuck this bitch. I'm gonna fuck this bitch. I'll fuck anything that moves. There's more characters like Veronica and Caitlin and etc. But I'll be here all day talking about the characters. So moving on. The dialogue and conversations are what really hold up this movie. The Dead Star Contractor conversation is a pretty good example. These are some unique conversations, and seeing characters' point of view on things gives them a lot of character depth. The writing is easily the strongest factor the movie has. Brian O'Halloran as Dante is a great performance. I can easily sympathize with how his character is written and how Brian performs as Dante. Though he is the main character, I'd say Jeff Anderson and Jason Mewes steal the spotlight as Randall and Jay. Marilyn Giglotti and Lisa Spooner are the female leads. One tries to point him in the right direction by going back to college, and the other one tries to get back with him after the relationship ended on a bad note. The soundtrack of the licensed songs is 90s gold. I dig the soundtrack. My personal favorites from this soundtrack are Love Among Freaks, Got Me Wrong, Go Your Own Way, Violent Mood Swings, and Can't Even Tell. The soundtrack is a strong factor of the movie and fits the movie like a glove. Now, for as much praise as I'm giving this movie, I do have a couple problems with it. Some conversations, they talk a little too fast, as if they're reading off a piece of paper. I'd say two conversations, they're going through a tad too fast for me to digest what's just said. In one conversation, the music slightly overshadowed the dialogue to the point where I had to put captions on to read what was being said. My last problem is, I don't know if this is a 90s thing, but why is Dante and Caitlin's business the talk of the town? Do people have nothing better to do than acknowledge someone else's problems or good fortunes? Well, whatever it is, it took me out of the moment. That's all the negatives I have, just three. Overall, I love, love this movie. The characters, writing, soundtrack, and performances are all fantastic. The ending by far is one of the best character perspectives ever given on film. Dante and Randall's character arc end on a solid note. Clerks is one of those films people will be talking about for years. Anyone who's worked in customer service, specifically stores and fast food, can relate immediately. The final verdict for Clerks is near perfection. 
It falls just short of my highest rating, Masterpiece. I had a couple problems, but Clerks is still a great film. This is the first of many reviews for the View Askew universe. Next up is Mall Rats. So, if you want to see the next one, then stick around. I'm Lena Mars of the MMC Productions crew, and I'll see you guys next time.